Good morning students, myself Badi Alekya, Assistant Professor, Department of Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning, RMD Engineering College. Today we are going to discuss that uh, the techniques called K-Cross Validation Technique and Bootstrap Sampling. So what is the importance of uh, learning these techniques? Uh, let us discuss with the slides. So before going to entering into the concept of k false cast validation method, uh, I will just give what is the purpose of using a k cross k fold cross validation methods. So what is the what are the steps we are going to use in our implementation of machine learning process? Now first we have to uh, take off our data set by we after importing the data set we have to applying pre processing techniques on the data sets. That means we have to remove the noise that means irrelevant data points that irrelevant data from the thing noisy data we have to filter and we have to fill up the missing values out layers we have to deal with out layers and after doing this all these operations after ex performing exploratory data analysis on the given data so next to the main important parts of uh, fitting a model to the mission fitting a model in a machine learning process is uh, training and testing so these uh, validation method and reps uh, validation and sampling methods is used to how to uh, divide the sample data into how to divide our data into training and testing uh, by using some techniques we have different types of techniques is there holdout method is there locv method is there among that today we are going to discuss two methods k cross k force cross validation method and uh, uh, bootstrapping bootstrap sampling mechanism so ex uh, observe that what is the steps we are going to first of all uh, after applying the data pre-processing on the given data we are going to split the data into two parts one is training data and another one is testing data in the name itself uh, so training is we are going to train the mission what is the respective input and what is the respective output for the given data but when we are going to validate our model the test data we are using we just pass the input and um, we are going to expect uh, the output predicted by the mission so in training the input and output will be provided by the uh, expert what is the input uh, for what uh, what is the output for the corresponding input under test data among the data we are going to split under the test data uh, the expert will pass only input and uh, expecting the output from the model that means by the mission based on the algorithm so uh, these are basic thing we have to know before going to know this technique then only we understand how this technique will be implemented so students in your mind uh, two things you, we, you have to store what is train data and what is test data then we can entering into the concept of k false cross validation method how the data is split into k parts among that how the test data and train data uh, will be placed in the model <coughs> if you observe that uh, we have a data uh, the sample data is there then the data we are going to divide into k parts k parts means for example i have 100 percent of data means that 100 percent of data if i am going to split it into five parts means so one part will consisting of 20 percentage of data so we are using k minus one parts for training and one for testing for example if my data if i am going to split into five parts uh, five five parts five minus one parts that means four parts are used for training and one part is used for testing that means training will be more for the mission and test will be less when compared to training so that that is different topics underfitting and overfitting this will listen the procedure for k k false cross validation method repeated the procedure k times uh, and uh, we are going to rotate the test set so uh, this will be helpful to providing the expected performance metrics such as uh, we are aware of that what is mean squared errors mean cla misclassification errors confidence intervals that's a uh, that will be evaluated based on the results of this 
iteration k fold working of k fold cross validation so if you observe here uh, i am going to divide the data into five parts uh, so i have 100 percent of data 100 percent of data i am going to fire divide it into five parts that means k equal to five each part will consisting of 20 percentage so now i am going to split this full data into two parts training and testing so in our algorithm uh, k minus one parts means k minus one parts now four parts four parts is for training and one part is for testing so based on the formula if you observed here k minus one parts means four parts is for training and one part is for testing if you observe here uh, two three four five if i am taking for training one part i am going to use for testing so what is the testing accuracy will be calculated here like that and if i am taking one three four five part for training uh, and the middle part i am going to use for second that means only one part i am going to use for testing so at that time we are going to calculate by applying some model based on the model which type of algorithm we are using and what is the accuracy level it is generated based on that sample so same thing we are going to repeat it for one two four five now the test data we consider it as three so what is that accuracy level that one two three four and the test data we are considering what is that accuracy level the same procedure we are going to repeat it for uh, remaining things like this and after completing calculating the accuracy of this we are going to find out the final accuracy that means average of all iterations this will decide that how trained and test data will be splitted efficiently so this is one of the technique which is used to find out the accuracy in which way we are uh, correctly splitted the training and data testing data which is helpful to fit it to the model and bootstrap sampling so here bootstrap sampling is a uh, replacement technique so we are also called this resampling mechanism so it's uh, let us discuss with example uh, for example this is a original sample so here the person is there we can replace for example in this first bootstrap sample one this image is repeated for two times and this image is repeated for two times it is taking some samples and repeated so it is a replacement resampling technique so same image i am going to try and more than one time so this this person repeated two times like that we are going to train the mission by using replacement techniques so uh, same like this uh, we are going to make it as sample one sample two sample three so among that thing we are going to uh, what's the Im advantages of using technique now the same sample is going to try for more number of time the, pre the test results will be more when we are applying replacement techniques the test results will be more if we are using this bootstrap sampling mechanism so thank you students it's just a brief introduction regarding how this Mm, k cross for uh, validation techniques and bootstrap sampling is used in splitting the training and testing of the data sets so that's all for the today's sessions uh, uh, we will meet with some other uh, new sessions uh, thank you students